Hi, I'm Benjamin Day with Pikes Peak Urban Living at Selly Group. I'm talking today about sales data through the month of August and the September stat pack. You can find the stat pack at cosrealestate.com. You can also find it at sellygroup.com. By the way, Gordon and Sharice, thanks for the new whiteboard. Today we're going to be talking about the marketplace and a SWOT analysis, the strengths, the weaknesses, the opportunities, and the threats that are going on with the market. We're going to start with the strengths. The key word today, gang, is low. Can you say low? Low inventory. That's a strength of the market because that's fueling future appreciation. That's a strength of the marketplace because it's forcing buyers to make a decision among equals. Do I like property A or property B? Because that might be all that they're looking at. Another opportunity is low interest rates. The interest rates are not at the all-time low. They were just within uh, five one-hundredths of the all-time low. Freddie Mac last month showed the interest rate nationwide at 3.6% paying only 06 of an origination fee. If you're doing the math on a $200,000 purchase, you're putting 20% down, your closing costs are probably less than $3,000. Consider that if you're a buyer who's asking for a $5,000 seller concession because we now know you don't need five grand to close it. It's gonna be 2,500 to 3,000. Make the deal work at a smaller closing cost figure. One other strength in the marketplace right now, relatively low prices, but those prices are doing this. They're starting to climb. We are at 4.8% average price appreciation for the calendar year. Now, weaknesses that we have in the marketplace right now are low inventory. If you're a buyer and you want to go sell your house and then buy another one, that's nice. You probably have a 61% chance of selling your house. So does the guy whose house you want to buy. There aren't a lot to choose from. Marketplace is now seeing the inventory go back down. It, it took a little longer this year for it to peak, but it's starting to retract at about 3,800 listings. The opportunities that are sitting out there right now, those are the buy and die market. You want to pay off that mortgage, never move again. Well, the 30-year interest rate at 3.6%, you can't really bank on seeing a lower interest rate or planning on refinancing it in the future. It will be interesting what the loan officers will do when the rates start to steadily climb back to 4 and 5 and 5.5 five and because there will be people who have these all-time low interest rates who never want to move again because the interest rates were so low that they seized. Uh, that's just going to be interesting because of how low they are today. That's a short-term opportunity. That's not a long-term opportunity. It's long-term in your financial planning if you're seizing that opportunity today. But it may actually be taking some buyers from the future because the rates are just so stinking low right now. The threats to the marketplace, this is complicated. And there's no easy way of doing this in a three-minute video. But it's best as a citizen to familiarize yourself on sequestration. And this is a bipartisan stink fest. This is not something where one party's to blame. Both parties are purely to blame. They're, they've both got 110% reliability on this one. Um, if you want to freak yourself out, go and read a book like Red Ink, uh, written by the Wall Street Journal financial editor. Uh, it's a, something that you probably want to just lodge in the back of your mind. Colorado Springs right now has 9% unemployment, which is a point higher than the nation. And we have a lot of Defense Department relied, relied people. It's something that you might want to check out before you make an informed purchase decision.